In a bid to increase our May, June and September midweek bookings, we've decided that we might create in this little corner of the studio um, a very small area of soft play, just in case the weather's a bit rubbish and parents with like under fives are a bit worried about what to do if they come here if the weather's bad. Then I think if we have this little space, especially if you're cooking in the kitchen um, and you want somewhere safe for little tinies to go, um, I think this would be perfect. So I have these mats. Now I bought these mats, oh, I don't know, 10 years ago when I was teaching and we were trying to do a bit of gymnastics and they've kind of just been in store really. I did use them a little bit for, for teaching back in the day, but um, now they've just been in storage for ages. So I want to kind of clear up this whole area here. So we want to make it in this corner, so the door's here. So just use this area here to create our little soft play area. Because then we've got some the games in the cupboard and we've got the books and pieces like that. So I think here's the perfect corner. So I'm gonna clean these mats up and then I'm going to um, sort them out over here. Okay, so I've got my little corner. We've also ordered a ball pit, which hopefully will go in there or, or I might swap it around. And then the other set of soft play we have bought is this. So it's just a set I bought off eBay. It's cost around 90 pounds. So this was kind of my block set. And then I've got a ball pit with a slide coming and a tractor, obviously, soft play tractor and a like horse rocker thing. I was trying to vaguely keep it in the, like, the farm theme, but um, yeah, you can't really hide soft play, can you? It's just generally in your face. Check it out, my new soft play has arrived. Um, I'm guessing this is the tractor -y thing, and this is the ball pit, but I don't even know if it comes with balls, so let's go to the studio and have a look. So here's the ball pit. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with balls, so um, I'm gonna have to go and get some of those. But it's really well made, and it's it the Velcro is really nicely together. Um, so I'm pleased about that. So you can hopefully climb up, slide into the balls, albeit there be no balls. Um, and then I got this rocking horsey type thing, and obviously the tractor. If they'd had a cow, I would have totally got a rocking cow, but they didn't. They only had a horse. I figured that was the most in keeping more than like, I don't know, sea creatures or whatever. So now I just need to figure out how to situate this within this space, which I haven't quite figured out yet, but um, we'll have a go. So here it is, our soft play set up. Um, it's not very easy to make soft play look photogenic but um, that's what I'm trying to aim for. Um, so obviously, need to get some balls, but otherwise, this is our little corner, kids' corner of the studio, ready to go. So the ball pit and the horse and the tractor are all from a company called Inplay. Um, so they just manufacture soft play and it costs around 300 pounds for this kit. Um, for these for these three items and it was free delivery so um yeah I'm, I'm really pleased with it i think it'll go down a storm so i just went and picked up some balls from facebook marketplace um they are brand new but they're golden white but i don't think it matters um right do you want to chuck them in so what were they useful at the golden white i think a wedding or something maybe but they they're brand new because they ordered the wrong color oh my good grief so these have never been used? Never been used, no. Okay. Right kids, what do you think of the soft play? Ah! <laughs> Just like that, all the balls have jumped out. <laughs> Crazy kids. I get to... So, you like it? Yeah. Oh! I think it'll be a hit. I think it would be as long as the balls will stay. I'm basically going to be forever picking up balls. <laughs> well, I think you're going to need a big ball kit. <laughs>